Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to SimTech channel. So here is an example of an earth leakage breaker that is built into a DB box, as you can see here. So now when I press the white button here, as you can see, there is no response, right? The circuit is not tripping. So this means the earth leakage breaker in this DB box is broken. So this is why it is advised that regularly homeowners must always come and press this button. Not so often, but at least once every month or every three months, it must be done to ensure that the leakage breaker is still operational. Right now, it's not working. The only way to trip this circuit here is by dropping the breaker itself, okay? But that is not safe. So now in case of an earth leakage in this house, leaking on an equipment, the persons in this house will be exposed to a risk of an electric shock, which is a problem. So this unit here must be replaced so that safety standard can be restored. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this broken earth leakage unit with a working one. And after that, we can test the circuit again to ensure that safety have been restored in this particular house. All right, so let's go ahead and do just that. There we go. So now we are inside the DB box. So as we can see here, this unit here is what we need to replace here. Okay guys, so the new earth leakage breaker is now in and I've already hooked up the neutral wire on the input and the live wire. So now on the output here, basically outgoing, so all I need is this bad boy here. That will be uh, my live wire going in to feed into the plug as I've said earlier. And the output on the neutral will then fit into this neutral. Right, so let's go ahead and finish off this connection. Now I'm working off grid, right? So it's not live, but still you have to be careful here. It's not because you know the circuit is off, then you can go ahead and start touching wires like nobody's business, then well, you will have a problem. So to avoid uh, getting yourself shoot out of this platform you just have to avoid touching any wire so you must just assume that it is energized that's the assumption and it's a very good assumption to have every wire here is energized and that's the only way you're going to avoid an electrocution so everything is now in i've got my live wire in the also the outgoing neutral wire is in the unit is fixed so we can then go ahead and close this distribution box re-energize the circuit and from there we can test this mechanism okay guys so we are done here everything is in we've got our new earth leakage breaker uh, nicely installed now we have to now test and show that indeed it was a fruitful exercise to replace the broken earth leakage unit with the working one so first thing first is to power your distribution box with the main switch here. You have to push it up. Now your circuit breakers, okay? So these are now feeding into your lighting circuit and some of your plugs. So now we come to this one. So the first thing is obviously just push it up. Now you can see that it is indeed working because now we've got power, the lights are on. Now, unlike this broken one, when we press this test point here nothing was happening now with the new one installed as soon as i hit this test point here okay then you can see that the unit trap and the house have been isolated it is important that homeowners must regularly press on this button here it's even written here test often now i'm not sure how often you have to test it probably once once a month or once every two months, you have to ensure that this unit is still working because 
that will guarantee that there is a electrical safety is in place in your installation and as always before you push it back up bring it first down and you can push it up again then you've got lighting and everything is working so that is it guys for this test and replacement of an earth leakage breaker into a distribution box so if you find it useful you find anything interesting please always a thumbs up right and subscribe to Simtech channel for more tutorial and uh, more importantly stay away from electrical shock hazard until next time cheers